Hello everyone, I'm Gayatri Chatterjee and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, well, we are back with another topic for today instead of music and I don't know, we do lots of stuff, don't we? So, today I am going to talk about fear of abandonment. It is something that we face regularly and at times unknowingly. Now, why is this topic important? It is because fear of abandonment can create voids in our life that at times only deepen because we let it go undetected. We just let it continue with us in our lives and do nothing to fix it. It's not exactly incurable. It improves over time. It improves with effort. So before starting this video or, you know, yeah, before preparing, I was doing a small research because Fear of abandonment is something which is crucial. If I can explain it well today, I might be able to improve quite a few lives. And I decided to make this video because of someone I care for. And that person is struggling. And I need to help. And this is one thing I'm good at. So, of course, I'm going to do my best to try and eradicate the fear. Or prove and give you methods to overcome it. Because at times, we cannot eradicate something completely. We have to learn how to live well with, you know, by giving it the least amount of priority and not letting it run our lives, not ruin, I mean run our lives. Well, we do search everything on Google the moment we find something new, something we don't know or something we're not sure of. Google is like the newest, you know, Previously, we used to ask our grandparents that Dadu Dida ba in Bengali, Dadu Dida, na 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 ni, etc. That, you know, what is this? What is that? Or parents, we used to ask them. But now it's all Google because it's true that where Google is a database where millions and millions of people are uploading lots of information daily there is useful information there is harmful information depends on how you use it again so well google it is i searched fear of abandonment and the next um, prediction text that came are fear of abandonment name quiz symptoms, treatment in relationships, BPD, attachment style, low self-esteem and fear of abandonment. Now, what I thought is that they are all putting it in a very negative way, fear of abandonment, treatment. Do you really need to treat fear of abandonment? You know, fearing something is not wrong. It's only human to be afraid of something. Maybe all we need is comfort and comfort doesn't need to be called treatment. Treatment sounds a lot like um, radiology or some sort of surgery or medication. It sounds a lot like that. But in this case, it might not be need needing treatment at all. It might be a simple case of someone saying, I trust you or I have faith in you. You can do it. 
it might be the need for these small sentences it doesn't need to be called a treatment you know so next i just searched fear of abandonment and i found a huge list of you know how do you solve abandonment issues uh build trust in others practice mindfulness communicate your relationship needs attend a support group practice emotional self reliance yeah it's all easy to write it down or say but it's not that easy to practice it in real life so is it really useful to read all these yeah we buy lots of motivation books we buy self help books we buy all sorts of stuff yeah some people manage to use it properly but many can't they can only read it appreciate it but not imbibe it in their own lives so according to me yeah it's okay to collect knowledge and know that these are ways in which you can tackle something but you need to go in depth about how to implement these these are not wrong mind you these are quite right but you need to think about how you'll use them in your own life because each one has different set of problems someone is facing problems in school bullies someone is facing um maybe discrimination at the workplace skin tone religion there are numerous aspects in which there is discrimination bullying teasing and a number of ways to deal with it so you need to think about which is best for you and most suitable and then i found a huge list of names chirophobia fear of hands cleophobia fear of newspapers then uh omatophobia dystichophobia philophobic fear of falling in love and lots and lots of things basically all trying to um call themselves synonyms of fear of abandonment now I thought that people are actually afraid of fear of abandonment. You know, they are not just in having fear of abandonment. They are also afraid of fear of abandonment and that creates another level of fear. So, I say we approach it head on instead of, you know, cowering in a corner and saying, "Oh no, 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 no. I can't do it." you should at least give it a try if you don't try will you ever find out whether you can do it or not no right so we should give it a try now fear of abandonment where does the root cause lie usually it's similar to ptsd and cptsd something that has happened in the past which has made you feel that you cannot trust anyone and basically fear of abandonment comes from trust issues trust issues can come from lots of things trauma mainly trauma can be divided into various categories childhood trauma sexual trauma emotional trauma numerous basically everyone has their own uh what should i say potential to be able to take in problems and challenges in life some cannot take much they are frail at heart doesn't make them you know the so called negative comment called weak it's not weakness it's how they are made so you have to understand that and you have to treat them accordingly if they cannot 
take more than a particular amount of teasing or if they are more sensitive than the others you need to be careful about it and you need to treat them accordingly there are some who we call thick skinned they might not actually be thick skinned thick skinned is a, a phrase which we use in a negative way to say that a person is too shameless and nothing can change that person's mind nothing affects him so usually thick skin means that and at times we confuse someone who has been through a lot and has hardened up as thick skinned he might he or she might not be thick skinned after all he or she might just be protecting him himself or herself because they've already been hurt too many times and too badly they just want to avoid it they just want to live a simple life a peaceful life doesn't mean that they are thick skinned now how do you understand well honestly i'm not sure of how you can pinpoint who is thick skinned who is more sensitive who is hardened up and who is weak no i don't know but we can do one simple thing you know what it is be happy be kind and don't be complicated if a sentence can be said in the most simplest way say it in that way na do you really need to make it complex for someone to think twice no think think again is it right no might not be right might be might not be and that person gets confused and then ultimately that person thinks that maybe you were trying to fool that person and there's a misunderstanding and boom your friendship is gone your relationship is gone everything is gone instead why don't we talk it out hmm if someone says that you can trust that person try once try twice after that be careful it's a rule that we learned as a kid that if someone makes mistakes you give them chance 1 chance 2 chance 3 at your own disposition because usually the people who don't make amends within these two chances are not very likely going to make any changes in the third so Why don't we try this twice? Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll find our best friend. A person without a mother will find a mom or dad or a sister, brother. I don't know. A partner? Right? And you have to slowly learn to trust it's not going to be easy i can say that because usually a baby learns to trust the mother most i have been utterly betrayed by my own biological mother and At one point in life I had extreme trust issues. I became a very big loner, introvert. I was forced to be an introvert since childhood because my mother never let me play with other kids or even talk to them or share things with them, nothing. So being an introvert was forced on me and something you're forced to do since childhood kind of gets into your blood but i'm trying i'm in front of you aren't i trying to share 
as much as I can, trying to spare the ones who can be, including myself <laughs> and you. So, I had major trust issues. I kept everything in myself, becoming a pressure cooker, and one day I just blew. It wasn't once, it wasn't twice, it happened many times. Until I finally had CPTSD. Well, this thing called CPTSD brews for a long time. A major difference between PTSD and CPTSD is that PTSD is usually caused by a single event or a single kind of event. But CPTSD is caused by various events, numerous events. So each trauma added on to me getting CPTSD. Every trauma that she caused, my mom. Yeah. Uh, Forgiveness? I don't know. I know one thing. That I did my best to try and trust her. I worshipped her like a goddess. Just like any other child would. I have done my duty. I have been a good daughter. She wasn't a good mother. That's her fault. I can't do anything about it. I have raised myself. Yeah, my father wasn't there. He came into the picture late. Well, my picture started, I don't know when. I was born and kidnapped within one and a half years of age. And the kidnapping was most probably very traumatic. You know why? Because I don't remember a single thing before that and I remember everything after that. It's weird. I remember everything up after 2004, but nothing before. And I was kidnapped in October 2003. So it's a normal thing that brain blocks out anything that is too traumatic. Like, extremely traumatic that could even lead to death psychological disorders can lead to death not suicide necessarily it's just the brain going into shock too much of shock is not good for the body and the brain knows so it just you know locks away those memories because it knows what's harmful and what isn't so those memories are locked for me and so I guess that was the most traumatic memory because everything else seems traumatic to me. And if I can overcome all that and come up, talk about it, spread awareness, try to live my life after all this and faced social stigma obviously I did like the girl who was an introvert suddenly trying to be a youtuber suddenly putting herself out there I was judged yeah I still am but in whispers now because sadly I have touched a few strings some people have connected and I have done some good now and they know it and they love me for it and I'm glad I managed because honestly this YouTube channel the Instagram account these were made by me with the same motive to spread awareness to make people happy to make everyone smile you know, my blog post, blog website, uh, earlier it was called Gayatri's Shelf and uh, the name, uh, I don't know what's called, subtitle? No, yeah, 
टाइटल वट एवर सब हैडिंग वॉज स्प्रेडिंग स्माइल्स आई वॉज सो क्यूट बैक दैन आई यूज सन कार्टून्स एज द वॉल पेपर एवरी थिंग वॉज सनी इट वॉज सो क्यूट लाइक आई री मॉडल डिट ऑफ फ्यू डेज बैक सो I didn't check the website for quite some time because it was bringing back old memories hence when I saw it I realized that I shouldn't have stopped I should have continued updating because you know maybe I would have been smiling way before then if I started smiling in uh, say 2020 I would have probably started smiling in 2018 itself. Who knows? <laughs> well, everything happens for a reason. I learned more in this time and I'm sure you will too. So, what I basically want to mean is fear of abandonment might not really be a fear. And I am sure you can get over it. trust yourself most importantly love yourself trust yourself and make sure that you don't abandon yourself because if you abandon yourself you should not expect anyone else to stay with you because who else will be most honest with you apart from you yourself well everyone doesn't have a brutus and uh, that you know the scene where the brutus is like the mirror in which uh sees us sees himself sees us sees his real self whatever <sighs> i never really liked julius caesar and all those i'm more into classics different kind not into hmm. so it's a personal prefer so you need to trust yourself first so what did we learn the first step to solving fear of abandonment is don't abandon yourself okay don't abandon yourself and the world will not live without you because the world is incomplete without you yeah i mean it if you're here born here you must have a role i don't know my role completely yet but i'm here in front of you aren't i if i'm standing here you'll be standing somewhere too hence let fear of abandoned ba- abandonment be just a myth yeah let it become history for you let it become history in your life that fear of abandonment was a past is a past was there in your life but now you're over it why because you've got yourself with you that's the biggest support you'll ever need i'm telling you a major thing that i have learned or i've cultivated over the years is self reliance and that is exactly what has seen me through lots of hurdles and fear of abandonment and i can guarantee it will work for you too So let's practice that